Good day, this is Brian Carpenter, and this is Tech Tips with Brian Carpenter for the MyPeta newsletter. So today I'm going to talk to you about Bitly URL shorteners and how you can take and use a URL shortener service like Bitly, there are many others, as well as QR code generator to make QR codes that you can share with your students and colleagues and families to get to places easier. All right, so opening up the website here for uh, MyPeta, this is where we're going to start. And I'm going to go find a complicated URL. This one at the top is PETA.ca, which is not very complicated, very simple to type in. But if you've got something more complicated, like I'm going to go to upcoming events, I'm going to go to actually conferences here and Whistler 2020. So let's go to Whistler 2020. In here, if I go to register now, takes me to the whistler.ourconference.ca. Not too complicated to type in, but say you were an exhibitor and you wanted to come to our conference. In order to get there, you could give somebody this web address here, whistlerourconference.ca, index.php, question mark, and a whole bunch more stuff. So an easy way to get have people get to that there is to use one of the two techniques that I'm going to show you right now. So in order to, for us to make a shorter URL out of this, I'm going to copy that by highlighting it in my browser and pressing Control C. I am going to go to a web service, um, new a, a web service called Bitly, bitly.com, B-I-T-L-Y dot C-O-M. And this is a web address shortener. Uh, there are others. There's one called, I think, I'm not sure what the others are called. I use this one and I like it a lot. In order for it to be useful to you, you need to create an account and log in. I will log in with my account that I have currently set up for myself and I will log in. Once I'm here, it allow me to create so with this one here, this is the one that was most recent at the top, but at the top there's a button called create. I press create and it says paste the long URL here. So URL stands for Universal Resource Locator. I paste it in and it's quite long and it is there. After a little bit of time, I'll move my picture out of the way so we can see that. Um, it will give us a short code. This code right here, bit.ly, bit bit.ly slash 32D9B5F is a random code it has generated for that link. I can go and change that to my PETA exhibitors, my PETA exhibitors, like that, okay? I can go up here and change the title and go my PETA exhibitors. Um, web page, web site. And this is only for me within my Bitly account so that I can keep track of where things are. I press save and over on the left hand side here, uh, I can X that. I can see here that I have a new one called My PETA Exhibitors website and there it is. If I click on it there, I'll move my picture back over here. I can see this address that was created. If I copy that from here, I'm gonna go over to a Google slide that I created for myself already. This is a blank slide. But if I paste that in here, it will paste that into my slide, okay? It gives me an address. It gives me HTTP colon slash slash bit.ly my exhibitors like that. Another thing you can do is you can shorten that. I'm gonna paste it again, but in this time, I'm going to go remove the information in the front here and make that just a link like that. In order for that to become a link, I can add a link by going up to my linking tool and pasting that link that I had before into there and apply. So that's a way that I can get a shorter version of a longer universal resource locator like this one right here. That's one part of this tutorial. The next part is how can I make a QR code so that I can use my phone simply to scan and get to that URL. We've used Bitly, that's this here for the making the shorter URL, but in order to use a, get, a, get to a QR code, there's a couple of ways I can do that. One of my favorite and simplest and easiest ways I can do that from any web browser is to go to qrstuff.com. So if I just type in QR stuff, it'll bring me, QR stuff is one word, 
It'll take me to the Google search page here, and I click on the top one, which is qrstuff.com. Once I'm here at qrstuff.com, I can go get my long web address that I had. Control C to copy it, going over here, and this has got lots of stuff on it. It's busy right in here with all kinds of things. I'm just gonna use the first one under data type, just as, which is a website URL. Number two, put the content in there. As soon as I paste this web address in here, keep an eye over here on this QR code and watch what happens. If I paste that address for the exhibitor's website that was there in my PETA, I press that there, the QR code changes. It changed from what it was and we can change things there. This here allows me to change the color of it. If I want it to be purple or something like that, I can do so. I'm just gonna leave it black so it's simple and easy, okay? From here, I can download the QR code. So I download it, it will download to my browser like that. In the, in, well, I'm in a Chromebook right now. It asks you wanna, if you wanna sign up, you don't need to ever do that. I can also right click and I can copy the image. I'm gonna go back over to my PETA, the Google slide that I was on and paste that image into there. So pasting that image into there, now I have a QR code right here for that website. I'll demonstrate what I can do with that with my phone. So on my phone, I go to the camera app so I can see the camera app that's here. That's my camera. I will take and I will point my camera at the QR code on the screen once and when I'm in photos on my iOS device or an Android, it should say, do you want to open the link at the top? I'd simply push the link at the top that is there. And it goes and takes me to the exhibitors page on my phone. So that's an easy way to make a short URL as well as a QR code for any long complicated website. Other ways of generating QR codes you can also add extensions to your Chrome browser. If you're a Chrome browser user, you can add extensions to your Chrome browser by going over to the three dots down here to more tools and extensions. That'll take you to the Chrome web store. I can go down here to the Chrome web store and open the Chrome web store and search for QR code. QR code like that, and I will we'll just choose QR code generator. There are three of them here. There's one called one click QR code, another called quick QR code generator, and a third call, called QR code generator. Adding those to your Chrome browser allows them to be put onto the extensions bar up right up here in the top right corner. Going back over to the exhibitors page, I can click on this QR code generator, premium QR code generator that I had already installed in my Chrome browser. I press that there. It takes and makes a QR code for this website here. If I copy this, I can save the QR code. I will save it to my browser. I can clip, copy it to the clipboard. Going back over here and I paste it in here, it will make a QR code for that web browser that is got the coded information. It looks slightly different than the one I made before, but don't worry about that. If you make your QR code once, you can get to the same information um, every time. So I'm gonna delete that there. So those are how you can use extensions. All right, that about wraps up this tutorial that I wanted to show you about how to make a, use a bit.ly URL shortener, as well as how to generate QR codes. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have yourself a great day. Stay tuned for next time as I talk about extensions and add-ons and web apps in my next in, uh, installment of Tech Tips with Brian Carpenter.